Did you retire right after basketball, basically? You didn't, no, you I, went right, I went right into volleyball. I played professional volleyball actually longer than I played basketball. I, I, I kind of helped to get volleyball started in this great country of ours. He was one of history's greatest Pied Pipers because everywhere he went, he had a following. I used to watch Wilt um, play volleyball at, um, at Will Rogers Beach in, in uh, Civic Palisades. He played uh, every weekend. He absolutely loved beach volleyball. There's nothing like it. Sand, the sea, sweat, good looking girls. It was a great time. Wilt was a novice at the lowest level, but he worked really hard. He had the persistence to learn this game like nobody I ever knew. He would play for hours and hours and hours. People marveled at just seeing Wilt grovel on the sand. He was too big to move back and forth and dig. You know, his arms were long, and but you know, he got very good at it. Yeah, he, you can imagine he was pretty good. Volleyball became his passion, and he thought he could make the Olympic team as a volleyball player. He was a better player than I would have expected. I knew he'd be able to spike. That's not going to be a question, but that he was as agile as he was surprised me. He went through a whole training program to become a very good volleyball player. And just said, that's it. I think I can build volleyball. And he became the international volleyball president. I really love the sport. The sport uh, gives me a chance to be competitive once, once again. I think also the sport has a lot of things that basketball had for me. And right, right now, I'm still kind of learning the game, and I really love it. And I enjoy it. I'm going to play as long as I enjoy it. He was able to take the beach game indoors and play it at the highest level. Volleyball. He went to the top. I played professional volleyball for about 15 years. How much cash were you raking in from that? Oh, much? yeah, a whole lot. When you play against Will, obviously it was intimidating. He's 300 pounds. He's 7'2". He had so much power, so tremendously strong. It was just awe-inspiring. A lot of people hit the ball 100 miles an hour, but it seemed to me that he was hitting them 200 miles an hour. He hits the ball hard, blocks well, and for a while led the league in attacking efficiency.